Hey there, this is John Lexel from ProSite Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to quickly explain how you can install your WordPress website. So the website I'm going to install is exactly this one. And then for me to do that, the first thing that I need to do is log in to my web host cPanel. This is the one that belongs to HostGator, so if you are using another web host, it should look similar to the one that you can see over here. And once you are in your cPanel, you want to go to your file section and you want to click on this icon that says file manager. Once you do that, you can see that you have this line that says document root 4. And from this listing, you want to choose the right website where you want to install WordPress. So make sure that you really, really choose the right website. Then you just need to press go and you can see that a new page uh, appears. And these are all of the files that you have installed belonging to WordPress. But before you actually remove all of these files, the first thing that you want to do is go to this file that says wp-config.php. So this is the file that you want to go. And you want to click with your right mouse button. Once you do that, you can see that this new, this new window pops up and you want to choose view. So you can see the all of the coding that that this file has. Once you are over here, what you want to grab is exactly this information because this is the information that you need so later on you can remove your database. So you want to copy this and you can paste it on a blank notepad or if you have a good memory you don't need to do that. But in this case I'm just going to do this so later on I can more easily see which is the database that I need to remove. Once this is done, you can close this window because you no longer need it. And then you need to select all of the files that you can see over here. And once again, make sure that you are in the right website because once you remove all of these files, you really cannot go back. So for you to remove all of these files, just click on this small link that says select all and you can see that everything gets selected. Now the only thing that you need to do is press delete. And you can see, are you certain that you that you sure you wish to delete? And you just press delete files. And you can see that everything gets deleted. So once I refresh my website, I no longer have WordPress installed. Now the other thing that I need to do, the second part, is for me to remove my database. So I no longer need this page. So once again, I'm going back to my cPanel. And on my cPanel, I want to go to I want to go to my SQL database. So under the database section, you want to click on my SQL databases. Okay, on this page you want to search for the database, for the correct database. So the correct database that I need to remove is exactly this one. So you simply browse throughout the pages until you find the correct database that you need to remove. Database is basically all of the information that you have related to posts and so on, all of the content inside of your website. So the one that I need to remove is exactly this one. Once again, make sure that you are deleting the right database because once you delete this, you really cannot go back. So in this case, it's exactly this one. So this is the one that I'm going to delete. So I'm just going to press this button that says delete. And now I, in this page, I just need to press delete database. As you can see, the system successfully deleted the following database. So that's everything that you need to do so you can install WordPress from your website. If you enjoyed this video, please like and also subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, SEO, how to make money online and much more. So stay there and stay tuned with ProSite tutorials and bye.